what's up guys um i wanted to share something that i am trying to pull off with my benjamin uh armada air rifle back here um i recently uh, took it out to a range just planking some steel and i started to stretch it out a little bit right and uh I've shot it. I've shot it like 75 yards before, uh, but I've never really went past that, I guess. So I was really kind of wondering how far can I stretch it out? So I went to a range and was shooting uh, 50. There was a 40, 50, uh, 75, and 100. I think that's how it was set up. Or maybe it was 50, 100, 150. I don't really remember, I, um, but anyway, um, I was wherever they were telling me was a hundred yard gong, and I was basically having to hold way over, and I was totally out of elevation on my uh, my scope. Now, I have uh, I have a couple of different scopes, but for this one, I'm trying to stick with my <coughs> low budget uh, center point. Uh, it is a. What is this? I say four by sixteen by I think maybe that's a forty millimeter. <clears throat> Might be fifty. Anyway, regardless. Ran out of elevation. So started looking into options and I found this UTG um let me just flip it around. So I found this UTG rail um, that that is 20 MOA drop. Uh, a lot of people told me don't shim my scope, so figured I would use this. Only problem is is where the magazine on the gun fits in. So I'm just sharing what I've done. Uh, this is a before, but use my art drum and some, and some some love. I know it looks nasty at the moment, um, but I got some coating to put back on it. But basically, had to um, gut this out so that the. Let me show you. Right here in my lap. Yeah, I'm just kind of in the middle of doing this, so. So you see here where the mag goes in. So now the mag fits, but you see how tight that is. And I'll show you the other side, sorry. Doing the best I can. But you'll see that I have, <laughs> I just have given us enough space there um, to fit the mag in, clip in nicely. Now, like I said, I just gotta recoat this thing. So <sighs> if you're running into the same problem, I don't know, maybe this will help you. And look for uh, more to come. When I try this out at the range, I'll definitely, um, there's part number actually. It's a UTG 20 MOA rail. It's got the UTG logo. Probably won't ever see that again because I'm about to just spray over this. But yeah, I nicked it all up. But it's 20 bucks. It's a $20 item. It's got three bolts across it. Um, even grinding this out, I've still, I'm still gonna have a good uh, clamping um, to it. So it's gonna be good and solid, and this hard will allow me to be able to stretch it out a lot farther. So more to come later. good enough to make do for now <sighs> I use some uh, appliance paint one sec alright do some readjustments since it's a pretty good bit of uh, elevation added the scope so I'm gonna have to reset that but not horrible Let's just test it out good 
good solid engagement. All right, I think that's success. I'll uh, I'll let you guys know how it goes when I try it out at the range. Thanks for watching.